my YouTube channel guys. So to SBG guys, uh, we're going to uh, learn the story of BB Jesus guys. So you know guys, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. This story guys presents the uh, story of BB Jesus. You can learn a lot through uh, watching this uh, story guys. And you can learn a lot from it. But before that, I have my intro. Small donkey's hoops as slowly climbed the last hill. Mary rode on a small donkey's back. Joseph walked by small donkey's side. Mary and Joseph were very, very tired. Small donkey was tired too. They had come a long, long way. From the top of the hill, to a happy sight, they saw the lights of Bethlehem. Joseph walked faster now. Clip clap, clip clap, clip clap. Hurried small donkey down the hill through the gate into the little town where they would rest and sleep. At the inn, Joseph asked for a room. We have no room, said the innkeeper. Is there no place where we can sleep? asked Joseph. Only in the stable. I am sorry. Joseph led small donkey toward the stable. He opened the creaky old door. He held up the lantern, then keeper gave him and looked around inside. He saw spotted cow and woolly lamp and stalls that were empty. In one empty stall, he tied small donkey. In other, he made a bed of straw for Mary and himself. Soon, they were fast asleep. During the night, the most wonderful thing happened. Baby Jesus was born. Joseph filled a manger with clean new hay. Mary wrapped the baby in soft white cloth and laid him in the manger. The animals seemed pleased about baby Jesus. He spotted cow mowed softly. Woolly lamb tinkled his bell and small donkey look and look. That night, in a field near the little town, shepherds were guarding their sheep. Suddenly, a bright light, as bright as the sun, shone all around them. The shepherds were afraid and covered their faces. The sheep were afraid and huddled together. Don't be afraid! said a kind, gentle voice. The shepherds uncovered their faces. They saw an angel, all glowing with light, said the angel. I bring you good tidings of great joy. Jesus, your Savior, is born. You will find him lying in a manger. Then the sky was filled with shining angels, singing the glory song. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, Peace, goodwill, our man. Don't be afraid, said a kind, gentle voice. The shepherds uncovered their faces. They saw an angel all glowing with light, said the angel. I bring you good tidings of great joy. Jesus, your Savior, is born. You will find him lying in a manger. Then the sky was filled with shining angels, singing the glory song, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. A 
As the angels went farther and farther away, they looked like a twinkling bright star in the dark night sky above Bethlehem. Come, said the shepherds, let us go see. They ran all the way to the stable, and there they found Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus in his manger bed. In a far away country, wise men saw the angel star, he said. It is the star of the baby king. Let us go worship him and check him presence. The wise men made ready their gifts. One wise man filled a bag with gold. Another filled a jar with frankincense, the perfume of flowers. And another filled a special box with meal the perfume of the spices. The wise men gathered up their gifts, mounted their camels, and towered and rode toward the star. They crossed rivers and hills and sandy deserts. Sometimes it was hot, sometimes it was cold, but always then one evening, the star stopped above a house in the little town of Bethlehem. The wise men made their camels kneel in front of the house. They climbed off the camels' humpbacks and taking their caps, they knocked on the door. Joseph opened the door and inside was Mary holding baby Jesus. The wise men bowed with their faces to the floor and worshipped the baby they called king. They gave him their gifts, the bag of gold, the jar of frankincense, the special box of mirror. Then the wise men said goodbye, mounted their camels and began their long journey home. One dark night, when Joseph was asleep, and Mary was asleep, and baby Jesus was asleep, an angel whispered to Joseph, Get up quickly, he said. Take Mary and the baby and flee into Egypt. The wicked king is trying to find the baby to do him harm. Stay in Egypt until I tell you it is safe to return. The king was angry because the people were saying that someday baby Jesus would be king. Joseph got up quickly. He told Mary what the angel had said. He went to the stable for a small donkey. Mary wrapped baby Jesus snug and warm. Joseph held Mary on small donkey's back. He handed her baby Jesus. Clip tap, clip tap went small donkey's hopes as they went out through Bethlehem's gate and turned down the road toward Egypt. The wicked king couldn't find baby Jesus now. Joseph and Mary, baby Jesus and small donkey live in Egypt a long time. Baby Jesus learned to walk and to talk. In one night, the angel again whispered to Joseph, the wicked king is dead. It is safe to go home. Once more, Mary rode on small donkey's back, but the boy Jesus didn't ride all the way now. Sometimes he walked and helped to lead small donkey. He then go to Bethlehem where Jesus was born. They went to Nazareth, Joseph and Mary's old home. Joseph and Mary were glad to be back in their old home. Small Donkey was glad to be back in his old, own stable. When Mary tucked the boy Jesus into his own bed, she told him good night stories. She told about baby Moses and his basket boat, about when the angels sang the glory song, about the wise men following the star and worshipping the baby was their king.